So on days that I'm not doing surgery, I like to get to the hospital to start rounding at about 8 o'clock in the morning or maybe 7.30, but of course the first place I go to is Starbucks because girl needs her coffee. If you haven't already tried these Bantam Bagel Ball things, um, they're pretty amazing and if you love cream cheese, they're pretty perfect. So once I have my coffee and I get all settled at a computer, I like to print out my list for the day. Um, these are just basically the people that I'm going to see today. I like to compare it to my list from the day prior and I just write some notes like whether or not they're a new patient, what they're here for, um, if I have to follow up on them, etc. I also like to highlight the people I'm supposed to see just so you know I don't forget anybody and I check it off on my list after. Whenever I'm done finishing figuring out my list and who I need to see, I just basically start walking around the hospital and seeing my patients. My patient load usually varies on a day-to-day -day basis, but I generally see from no patients to maybe 15 patients in the hospital. When I'm done seeing a patient, I like to grab their chart right away and I either start writing a note or I dictate it into the computer system. I tend to only really dictate notes for the patients that we admit under our services. Sometimes I get to do some bedside procedures. Here you'll see some of the supplies that I use to drain peritonsillar abscesses at bedside. Once I'm done rounding at the first hospital, then I'm on my way to my next one, and then after that, I will head to the office. Hey guys! So that was a really short video, but it's really hard for me to film in the hospital, especially film my patients when I don't have any prior consent from them. So I figured instead of having you guys watch me write on a paper and tell you the things that I do in the hospital, I'll just tell you now. <coughs> Excuse my voice, I'm a little bit uh, congested. I think I'm getting sick. Hopefully not. Um, so anyways. In the hospital, I do a lot of the new consultations. I do almost all of them. My new consultations can range from anything like a nosebleed, which I love. Um, <laughs> not really. I could also see patients for peritonsillar abscesses, um, uh, neck emphysemas. Um, I get some chronic sinusitis, some ringing in the ears, some random stuff, but... Um, I also get neck masses and other things like that. If I need to determine whether or not my patient needs surgery, I usually give my doctor a call and I go over the case and we determine together whether or not we're going to book them to go to the OR. I also do all my follow-ups and my post-ops unless it's the weekend and it's not my weekend on call, then I give it off to um, the other mid-level providers. What else do I do? I don't get to do many procedures while I'm in the hospital. I did show you some of the supplies that I was using for, uh, for a uh, peritonsillar abscess drainage that I was doing at bedside. Basically, I just inject them with lidocaine and then um, I aspirate with a syringe. Um, also, some other things that I do are I scope people with my flexible laryngoscopy, which I've shown in my Instagram before. I don't currently have it with me or else I'd show you again. Um, I also take out packing and sutures from tracheostomies and surgeries, and I also take out drains as well. 
So yeah, generally the hospitals only take me a couple of hours. Uh, I don't usually have a lot of people when I do. It is very time consuming because I do have to do a little bit more than just see them sometimes. I have to like scope them or look in their ears and whatnot. I also put in orders for tests like um, radiology or I consult speech therapy. I do, I consult them a lot for a bedside swallow evaluation. I prescribe them medications. I, you know, write their uh, prescriptions for when they're discharged. I consult with other physicians. I have a lot of their numbers and they just, you know, text or call me because I'm pretty easy to reach. We help to speed up the process and get our patients better. So thanks again for watching this video. Uh, hit the subscribe button below if you're not already subscribed and if you could hit the like button it would help me a lot what it looks like um <laughs> my next video is still going to be my frequently asked questions video so again if you have any more questions why did i do that so again if you have any more questions to ask me just comment below and i'll be sure to add them in my next video see you next time